Sports and today we're doing a card video um, and we're actually sending, me and Archer both are sending some stuff to SGC um, which is a smaller place to send cards I guess, card grader um, I guess it's called and most of these cards go to like PSA or BGS but SGC is kind of up and coming. The turnaround time's a lot shorter and the prices aren't as high, it's not like it's cheap. Um, but they're also pretty strict on the grading and I think that they do a really good job. So with that being said, I'm um, gonna show you guys some of the cards that I'm gonna get graded. First of all, just address the cards in the back. Those are really the only graded cards I have. And I, the Lucas I got together and then the Shay I got alone. It's, I really like those cards. Those are probably some of my favorite cards. Graded cards in general, to me, just look sick. So I'm really excited to get some more. And without further ado, I guess we'll get into it. Holy crap. All right, I'm getting used to the tripod um, with my phone on it. So hopefully I won't knock it over again, but it's kind of in a weird and like cumbersome position. So first we're gonna start off with a De'Aaron Fox optic card. And this is a card that I got in a lot, actually. I didn't really expect to do much with it. At the time it was like three, four dollars maybe. Now it's about 11 or 12 raw, but once it gets graded, I'm not really sure what price it is. It'll be up on the screen somewhere. I'm really hoping that this gets a 10 because I really do think De'Aaron Fox is a great player, especially with the playoff coming up. I wouldn't be surprised if they got the nine seed or at least played some really close regular season games. So it'd be awesome to get him back for the extended NBA season. Um, hopefully he pops off a little bit, although I will say I want the Pelicans to win. Um, the whole thing, whether that's the West or the Finals. I, I, I mean, I don't think they're going to make it to the Finals, but as long as they get an 8C, I'll be happy. Next up, another De'Aaron Fox. This is his Prism Rookie card. Another really cool card. You're going to see a lot of Prism. Prism's kind of like the main brand, I would say, of card that like goes for the most. It's really hot right now. So this is Prism card. Once again, got it in a lot. Nothing special. I actually have five others. Uh, this was the one that I thought was in the best condition to get graded. I think it's a 10. I hope it's a 10 because uh, they go for a pretty pretty decent amount. And I think I got this. I think if you... Actually, I don't know if I got this one in a lot. I bought... I think I might have got it for eleven fifty, um, but that'll also be up on the screen, so I'll know for sure by the time this comes out. Pretty awesome card. Really like De'Aaron Fox. All right, the next card is another base prism, and this is Donovan Mitchell. Uh, I actually got him for really cheap compared to how much he normally goes for, and it takes ten bucks to grade a card at SGC, so I basically bought him plus paying for SGC for like the normal raw cards price. Um, so it'd be pretty awesome if he could get a 10 because it's like, I basically just paid for a raw card. So if he gets a 10, it's gonna be awesome. Um, Cause as a 10 he goes for a lot, but Donovan Mitchell's pretty awesome. I really like him as a player, he's super flashy. He always seems to play well when I'm watching, which is basically every time he plays the Pelicans or I guess in the playoffs, I think he hit a game winner against the Rockets one time. That was pretty awesome, good game. Really like Donovan Mitchell. Hope he plays well. Just hope they don't run into the Rockets in the playoffs for it's either the third or fourth year in a row if they run into the Rockets again. So for Donovan Mitchell's sake, I hope they run into like the Nuggets or some some kind of pretender team. I'm not saying Houston's gonna win the finals, but they got a bigger shot than a lot of these other teams, even above Houston. But yeah, Donovan Mitchell, pretty well centered on the back and the front. Happy with this card. Hopefully he gets a ten. Up next, this one, might, this one guy that I think's a little slept on. He's not going to be in the little playoff thing in Orlando this year. Um, RJ Barrett, though, super awesome player in my opinion. I think the green card looks pretty sick. It's got the little silver outline on it. Um, big fan of RJ. I just think that the Knicks organization needs some work, and it can't get worse from here, so I don't see his cards going down that much. I think he's really talented, and hopefully someday the Knicks can figure it out and he goes up in price a little bit. But regardless, I think if this gets a 10, it'll be well worth sending it, so that's kind of why I'm sending it. I do want to hold on to it until the beginning of next season, though, see if the Knicks make some changes within their organization. I know they need a new coach, so 
I don't know if Thibodeau is going to help, but it'd be nice to see him for a little bit back in there. But yeah, really awesome card. I really like the silver touch on there with the green. All right, now next up, we're getting into kind of the big territory. I've only got two cards left, and these are two of my biggest. These are my two biggest sins, I guess. And so this is Shea Gil just Alexander. You see him in the back right there. That's his base uh, mosaic. This is not his base mosaic. This is a parallel, which I guess the RJ Barrett is two. It's a parallel, which means that like it's not the same as a base um, card. And so they're a lot rarer. This one in particular is very rare. Uh, if you look on the back, it actually says 43 out of 49. So they're like 49 printed. So it's a short print card, and it's a Shea Gillis Alexander rookie card. I really like Shea. I don't watch him as much as I probably should for me to get a card like this. Um, but I got it for a pretty good deal, and so I went ahead and pulled the trigger. And I, I really think if it gets a 10 at SGC, it could go for a lot. So I was really happy about this. I really hope he plays well in the little playoff, because as you can tell, I've got one there and one here. Oh, this one's actually on eBay. eBay in the description if you want to buy it. Um, I just sold one of these Lucas actually yesterday, but I, it's a Sunday, so I haven't shipped it out yet. Um, but yeah, big big fan of Shea. At least his cards. I love the mosaic cards too. These like mosaic bef before this year's mosaic, like it was like a subsidiary of Prism, and I think they look sick. Um, I'm a really big fan older mosaic cards but yeah there's Shea Yodos Alexander out of 49 super awesome card hopefully it gets 10. all right up next potential future MVP all right I mean technically all these guys are because you never really know but we got a guy that I think's got a pretty good shot at it and that's Jason Tatum now this card I got for an awesome steal like I just sold um I actually just sold one today I actually have it out right now I just sold him for 70 uh, for seventy bucks, and I got this one for 35 I actually bought both of these in the same lot for $70, um, and so this was an awesome, awesome steal. And the fact that it's, like, well-centered, didn't have any scratches, no issue with the corners, I mean, if this gets a 10, this is, like, th this would change everything, you know? Like, I would be so pumped. It would be insane. But this back-centering looks good. Front centering looks good. No scratches, no dents or anything. I'm really optimistic about this guy. If this one could get a 10, I would be so happy. The, the others can get like eight. Like, as long as this guy gets a 10. Um, but Jason Tatum is a guy that I'm really, really high on. Uh, I think a lot of people are. Him and Luka are kind of like the future of the NBA. I mean, I'm not taking out Giannis, obviously. But maybe like post Giannis, because I feel like Giannis is an age cap he's gonna get to a certain age where his body just can't hold up like that but I really do like Jason Tatum I think he's got a great future and honestly he's a great playoff guy too uh, when he got in that series with LeBron went to game seven I mean that was just an incredible series to watch he's an incredible player to watch the sidestep three is really great for him but yeah these are kind of the cards I'm sending to SGC I'll run through them really fast in just like 30 seconds but the Tatum Jeez, I keep hitting the phone. Shea, just like that one back there, except this one's like purple pink. I don't really know what it is. It's like a mix of both. The green RJ. This one's a parallel once again. Based on a Mitchell. Based here in Fox. And then, last but not least, Optic Deer and Fox. I, of course, wanted to send more cards. I uh, just couldn't really. You know, a lot of the cards I have aren't tens. They've got like the smallest little dinks or divots or issue with the corner. Um, so it's kind of frustrating to go through these because I really thought I was gonna have more cards to send. I think I started out with like 13 cards I was gonna send. And then just slowly as the days went on, I slowly had to like knock off certain cards. But this is the last six. I don't think I'm gonna sub any of them out. They're all really good condition. I love a lot of the players in here. And uh, yeah, let's see what Archer's got. Hello, um, I am here to show you guys my SGC submission. I know Peyton already showed you guys what he had for his, but we both have a couple cards we're going to send. Um, we're kind of just preparing for the play-in that's happening July 31st. 
And uh, there's some guys we think that their cards are going to raise in value, or these are just cards we have in general that can get a 10. Um, first off, I've got an RJ Barrett, um, Prism Rookie. I love the photo on this card, first off. I think that that is one of the coolest looking uh, photos in the whole Prism set. I just love the point and the dribble. It just looks awesome. But the centering on this card is close to perfect. I can't really see how they'll take off. I mean, it looks basically perfect in my eyes. Plus, I did a little bit of uh, looking on the surface, and there doesn't seem to be any scratches or dimples or anything. One problem, though, is we... Well, I don't have any card savers to send uh, to SGC. I only have these thick magnetic one-touches. Uh, let me get one out over here. These guys are actually frowned upon. They are hard plastic, and... Uh, a lot of people say that, let me get a test card. A lot of people say that if you put a card in here uh, and put this on, it's going to scratch the surface because there's still a little bit of room in between. So let's say I put that in. There might be scratches on the surface right here, which will basically turn the card into a worthless uh, if you're trying to get it graded. But um, what I've done to combat this is we'll say we'll put our card in here. Make sure I dust it off. I have a microfiber cloth I like to use and I kind of, I hold them in place and I just make sure to get all the dust and anything off. I make sure that there's no scratches before I do anything else from this point. And if it looks clean, I put a penny sleeve over on top and then just slide this top uh, hard plastic from the one touch on. It's secured, you can't peel it off, and it won't get scratched because the hard plastic can't even touch the card. So that's just my solution. Um, but yeah, uh, this RJ right now as a P as a SGC 10, he's selling for around 100, but I'm gonna hold on to him for a little bit. I think he has some good potential and I think his card value might raise in price in the near future. Next up, I've got a Rated Rookie Optic Bam at a bio. Uh, I think Bam is one of the top centers in the league on a great team. And if the if the Heat can perform in the playoffs, I know his card's going to go up for sure. Um, I'm just going to hope for the best on this. The centering is basically perfect. All these cards I've picked, uh, I've made sure everything's good to go so that they will get a good grade. But... This guy in particular looks almost exact, dead on. Plus, the corners look great. And I just think Bam has a lot of potential in the league. Uh, he's still growing as a player. Plus, he's on a great team who can make a deep playoff run. So, I'm excited to see what he can do. Um, I'll have the price that this guy's going for right now. I know there's not going to be a lot of comparisons because this is a really random card for an SGC submission, but... Nevertheless, I still think this will uh, increase in price in the future. Next up, I've got Tyler Hero, another Heat guy to go with his his guy, Bam. Uh, this card has, uh, it really stayed in a pretty uh, same position from a price standpoint. He got injured halfway through the season, kind of played sporadically, but... When he has played, he's been good, and he's a fan favorite on the Heat, so that's one big reason. I think that the popularity this guy has is... All right, um, this is my last card. I only have four going in. I know Peyton has a little bit more, but I have my Holy Grail Prism Base Zion Williamson. Perfect centering. Really excited to get this guy in, uh to get graded um personally i really like zion but i don't think he's worth the price that he's at right now and i want to get him sold as soon as possible but honestly the centering on this could not be better the there's no scratches i actually got this in a break uh it was, it was a random team break i got lucky enough to get the pelicans but 
This Zion right here at the current time is going for around $520, $560. He is flying off the shelves. Uh, I just know that this guy is going to get a 10. There's nothing wrong with the card. Corners, perfect. Centering, perfect. I would be extremely surprised if he got a 9.5. Even the back centering is basically perfect, which isn't really the most important part of the card, but... I mean, to be honest, uh, I'm expecting all 10s with these guys. Oh, the only guy I'm a little hesitant to call a 10 is this Tyler Hero. If you can tell, the centering on this side is a little bit smaller than this side, which kind of sucks. But um, all in all, I think I'd be fine with a 9.5 just because I do think Tyler Hero will go up in price, no matter his grade as the playoffs approach. Um... But yeah, these are uh, these are my SUC guys. Obviously, Zion is my biggest guy, and then RJ I would say is my next. I I will sell Zion immediately. I will hold RJ because I think that once the season kicks up again, he starts playing well, his card will skyrocket. So, um, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, very excited to get this guy into SUC. I'll make sure to uh, open that package on camera when it comes back and uh, everything. So thanks for watching and see ya.